good afternoon, I guess. Put a finger down if last night you set five alarms for yourself to wake up at 6.30 so you could watch the sunrise, have a super productive day, but instead slept in five hours later. Me. These are my least favorite types of days when you think it's gonna go one way but it really goes the other and then when it goes the other you just freak out and you're like i am disappointed in you you as in me i am a little disappointed i fully thought that i was going to have this super early productive day and here we are it is 11:30. when i woke up and i realized what time it was i literally thought to myself the rest of the day is wasted there's no point in trying to have a productive day have a good day so basically the day is just a wash absolutely not that is not how it works and i was like you know what we're going to rescue and save this half wasted day i say half wasted with quotes because the day's not wasted the day is still young there's still many hours to work with and i always do this to myself where if i am not having a good morning i'm just like okay well i guess the rest of the day is going to be a waste but you can always save your day no matter what point you're at whether it's 11 12 maybe it's 4 pm and you've been having like a weird off day we can always save it we are going to turn around what would have been a thrown away day you're going to reclaim the hours of the day that's left and we're gonna make it good. So let's get started. We're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be productive. It's gonna be fun. If you ever feel like you have half wasted days, like I said, I feel like it's all in our head when we're like, oh, well we should just scratch that, move on. We'll try again next time. But I can turn my day around. You can turn your day around. And I don't know, I really wanna stop having that toxic mindset of the day is wasted. You might as well not even try because no, no, no. Let's have a good day, you and me. I am not feeling the best and that is the truth, but you know what, that is okay. We're gonna work with what we got, so let's get the day started. get ready to go to the gym which every time I don't make it to the gym in the morning I'm like well there goes my shot if I don't work out in the morning then I just can't work out since I'm a morning workout person but we're gonna go because I know it's gonna make me feel super good I'm obsessed with peach cups they're so good I always have this before the gym because I don't like working out with too much food in my stomach my energy is a little frantic right now because I was just informed that I'm going on a trip Friday and today's Tuesday. I've had no time to plan for this. So I lit, let me show you my closet right now. This is the state of my closet floor. Absolutely horrendous. I am frantically trying to pack and pick out outfits because I didn't know that I was going to be traveling. And this is really last minute for me, but I'm trying to calm down. I feel like, I don't know. I'm kind of freaking myself out for no reason. But one of my goals this year was to be more spontaneous, was to say yes to more things. So I'm really excited. But now that I'm doing that, I'm feeling a little, a little anxious just because basically I have to take care of Coda tomorrow and Thursday because my dad is traveling. And so I won't be here at my apartment to get things done. That's why I'm trying to film today, edit, get all my work done. And then I leave Friday. So if I seem frantic at all, that is why. But I feel like the workout's really going to fix that. Anyway, that is my energy right now. I'm going to get out that energy. Let's go to the gym. That was also the last thing that I wanted to do, but that was so nice. I walked on an incline of 7.5 at speed 3.5, and then I was still feeling like, I don't know, kind of anxious. And you know that feeling when you have all these overwhelming thoughts and you can't stop them and it's like making your head hurt and your mind is kind of spinning? I still had that feeling. So I was like, maybe I should just run because when you're running, you can't focus on anything else because it is such a 
horrible feeling. <laughs> um, if you love running, shout out to you. You are amazing. But for me, when I'm running, I literally dread it because it's painful. But that was the pain that I so needed because I was running for maybe like three minutes. And even just after three minutes, all of my thoughts kind of went away and now I feel a lot more at ease. So I'm really glad I did that. It is one of my goals to be more spontaneous this year and kind of just go with the flow. So even though I had plans for what I thought this week was gonna look like, it's okay that it's changing. I'm really excited. So I'm really glad that I'm feeling better because I hate that feeling when your mind is just so overwhelmed and it's like overworking and thinking about all these different things. So that workout really fixed things for me. Anyway, let's take my stuff out of the washer. I'm gonna make a green smoothie because I keep telling myself that I'm gonna make them and try to find a recipe that I like and I just never do it. So we're gonna make a healthy smoothie, refuel myself. So let's see what we got going here. water in this and I didn't empty it out so there was like this much water when I put the smoothie in <laughs> yay um okay maybe if we just like mix it around I'm really trying to force myself to start to like greens and this is the first step so that's not bad what the heck what the heck wait why is this not like horrendous Wow, what a nice surprise. I fully was expecting to have to force this down, but I think what I'm tasting a lot of is the orange juice, which really helps. So thank you to everyone who said to add orange juice. I will say those of you who recommended coconut water and this, I think it really made a difference. Who am I? This is so unlike me to enjoy something that's green, but hey, so good. I'm gonna enjoy this. And then I'm feeling absolutely horrendous. So I'm gonna shower because we gotta get ourselves ready for the day. That was life-changing. I have never not showered with the lights on, but that was so calming. I'm definitely gonna do that more often. I feel like it was so much more relaxing. And if you're feeling a little overstimulated, I feel like bright lights sometimes just adds to that. So try taking a shower in like the half dark. That was very good. Another thing that's very good that I love to use excuse the sirens outside, our towel scrunchies. I'm so obsessed with these because I really try not to put my hair up in like a turban style with the towel because I don't know, I've heard it's not good for your hair when it's wet. So I've been using these towel scrunchies and they're so good. I like put them in little mini buns because I have thicker hair. I just use two um, and it just dries and it just is, and it's so much easier to dry. So I will link these down below because I'm obsessed with towel scrunchies. You look a little crazy, but I kind of like it. Very convenient. Every time I know I want to have a productive day, I purposely put on denim jeans. What time is it? I think it's already getting late. Definitely a little later in the day than I would have liked. I feel like this would have been nice if I got this done way earlier and it was like 10 or 11 a.m. But that's not where we're at. Again, we're dropping all expectations because if time isn't real, why am I worrying about what time it is? I just 
did some tidying up. I also put another wash in. I'm actually gonna go get a roll of film developed. I'm just gonna walk there. That's what I love about where I moved. I can walk to certain places, which is really nice. I lived in like a small neighborhood at my parents' house. And so it's really nice that you can just walk some places here. She is not New York City, but it's, it's, it's close enough for me for now, so. I just have this one roll and I honestly forgot what pictures I have on here, so let's go get this developed. Thank you. Have a good one. That was super fast. I picked up two more rolls of film. This is what I've been using. It's the Ektar 100. If you're curious, if you like to shoot on film, this is my favorite one. I love the colors in it. Right now, I'm gonna make some food because I'm starving. I don't know what I want to have. I'm definitely not gonna go grocery shopping just because I feel like I should use what I have. So I'm gonna be leaving for a few days. I should probably use some of this stuff it's gonna go bad. I think I'm gonna make an open-faced sandwich because this is probably gonna go bad, the lettuce. And also, this expires soon. So I haven't even opened it yet and I definitely need to start using that. I'm dying to try my truff mayo. As you all know, I have officially been obsessed and converted to the truff life. If anyone from the truff marketing team sees this, just throwing it out there, uh, let's make a sandwich. This literally looks so ugly because I am not good at food presentation, but I'm gonna do a taste test because I'm dying to try this mayo. So elaborate. Hold on. I put some mayo on my finger so I can isolate the taste. That is so good. Oh boy, that is so fantastic. Wow, nice little spin on a classic mayonnaise because it's got that truffle in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just obliterated this sandwich. They really need to make juice boxes bigger. I guess it is designed for like kindergarten age children, but why are juice boxes so much better than anything else? at 5 p.m. today. So that is how my day is going. I've been sitting on the couch for a while getting some stuff done on the computer. I had a ton of emails. I had some editing to do. Um, and I've also been drafting some stuff up to post on my phone because I have a launch coming up on Wednesday, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, but I am doing another jewelry collab line with Enroot, and I'm so excited. So I've just been drafting up the post for that, the captions, stories, all of that. I've been getting heaps of questions on my jewelry lately, and it's all been jewelry that is coming out in this collection. So I'm so excited. It's been so cool hearing you guys ask where my jewelry is from and that you're obsessed with it because I designed it, so I am just so happy. And that's coming up Wednesday, so usually leading up to a launch of any sort, there's a lot of back-end stuff to do, so that's what I've been working on. And now I'm sitting on my couch. I don't know if I wanna do anything else today, to be honest. There's always more stuff to do, but I feel like I don't wanna just get sucked into that and keep going, going, going. So I'm probably gonna stop soon, but I did just get some decor stuff for my apartment. So let me show you. I got a ton of prints from Society6 that most of them are gonna be in my office. A few of them are for my room, but I'm so excited because my office is pretty bare right now. You know what? Let's do some apartment updates. I feel like it's been a while since I've updated you on the status of how things are looking. I redid my clothing rack. I thought these colors looked so cute together. These are all of my Aritzia sweat sets and they're just the pastel colors. I feel like that's really cute for this time of year. Put some neutral shoes on the shoe rack part. I just love how this side of the office looks. I really want to put some prints up over here and over here because when I film videos in this chair, I feel like I want to have some really cute decor. And also this wall is really blank too. So there's lots of wall space in this office to decorate. I finally cleaned up the top of my dresser. It was kind of just a dumping ground for all of my random shit to put on. So I finally decorated it. Cute little bookends that I got on Etsy a while ago. This cool little like statue. You're actually able to put 
plants in here, but I'm not allowed to have plants. So I don't know. I might just leave it like this because it really looks cool. I have my cute little vintage camera from my grandma. And then I might hang up this, but I kind of am okay with it leaning against the wall. But it's just this Polaroid hanging thing. So this is what that side of the wall of my office is looking like. There's space over here to work with to put prints on too. So lots of areas. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. is definitely later than I would have liked to go to bed, but I watched Journey to the Mysterious Island, which is one of my favorite childhood movies. I love The Rock. I love Josh, Hutcher Josh Hutcherson. So that really felt good for my inner child. And then I also watched on Disney Plus, National Geographic did a documentary on the Thai soccer team that got trapped in the caves. And it was such a moving documentary about how these people came together to rescue these kids in this cave and it was such a crazy rescue mission that was impossible and they made it possible and over 5,000 people helped to rescue these kids and their coach and I was crying it was so good if you have Disney Plus definitely recommend checking it out I literally remember watching the news when that happened and think it was in 2018 and it's such an incredible documentary and it was so amazing to see these people from all over the world risk their lives to help save the lives of others. So that is why I stayed up so late. That just finished. I am gonna head to bed now, but I wanted to first say I am so glad that I did not throw away my day because if I had that mindset, I probably just would have spent the day sulking and not feeling good, but I actually had such a nice day. Thank you for coming and spending it with me. If you reach this point in the video, first of all, you're a real one. Mwah. Comment down below the lightning bolt emoji so I know who the real ones are who stayed. Yeah, I really appreciate you watching my vlogs and I don't know, just coming with me through all of these new phases of my life. I am so blessed and grateful that I get to share it with you and that we have such an amazing community on here. I love reading the comments. I love talking to you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am just feeling, I'm in such like an uplifted mood after watching that. So I just wanted to shout you guys out for watching because you make my dreams come true every day and I appreciate it. And this is getting far too cheesy. Late night thoughts. Goodbye. Love you.